You mean to say you don't care to look pretty? Asked a curious Cyclops to a cephalopod friend. Correct, she replied. While I always cared about inward characteristics, I never really cared for the outward. I mean, of course I cared to look okay. You know, make sure my hair wasn't a mess. I understand, you replied. I'm used to hearing the opposite. I know, she replied somberly. As the two of them sat staring at the stars, Tanshi began recalling the painful memories of her past. I always felt like an outcast, even amongst other Cecilia. I never felt understood. I tried to fit in, but it never seemed to suit me. I just wasn't who I am. In a way, I was all alone. I see, replied Luthi understandingly. Um, you said you care about inward qualities. Yes, qualities like being kind, gentle, caring, etc. To me those are admirable and important qualities. Me too. Those are qualities that both girls and boys can find admirable. I also have felt less understood. Catching Tandy's attention, her eyes widened for a moment. You have? Yes. May I ask how? She replied, feeling intrigued. Of course. So you know how a lot of kids like to run around and do activities like playing tag and jump roping and flying kites? Mm -hmm. Well, I was never outgoing like that. Instead, I prefer to just sit and read. I watch the cloud slowly roll by. So I do like the bicycle. I too can relate them to Tanji. Except for maybe the bicycle. Yes, but people are less willing to accept boys who are like that, you know? Unfortunately, many are led to believe that gender has larger influence than personality. I'd say it's logical to think that much of those people would be extroverts and ambiverts. The nest are much less likely to understand. That sounds right. Yep, one shouldn't judge a book by its cover or a person by their gender. Just look at the story of Ferdinand. How true, Luthi remarked. He was different than the others, and though he felt like an outcast, he wasn't afraid to be himself. Yep, applied Tanji naturally quietly. Truth be told, anything outside of what society considers to be normal is considered to be strange or an outcast. Those who follow the crowd believe in what society believes. And not us. We don't follow the crown because we're independent thinkers. And independent thinkers are nonconformists. That meaning they refrain from being bound by society's stereotypical thinking. Independent thinkers, asked Luthi curiously. Like Rudolph and his friend Hermie? Um, yes, exactly, she replied. And probably at least a handful of other characters. While embraced idea of being different than the crown. Even if it wasn't in tune with what society believed was normal or right. Uh-huh, concurred Luki. That's true. And I don't think you're a strange tanned. No, I'm more what you would consider on to Tanji with the small, with the small smile on her face. Oh, I see. But those terms do pretty much go hand in hand. Thank you, Luki. My pleasure. You know, normally I'm not known for effectively speaking on the fly, as they call it, but I can write effectively. I happen to have that well versed to my head. I do apologize if I ever seem like I'm going off on a tangent. I like to think matters through deeply in a logical and tangible way while avoiding personal opinion. So as to only state what is factual. Well, that's okay. I'm not known for speaking particularly well either. When you feel you need to, go ahead and go off on your tangible tangent, Tanji, remarked Luki. Okie dokie. Thank you, buddy. You and my name isn't what one might consider an average name. You're welcome. Rudolph doesn't really seem like an average name either, said Luki with a reassuring smile. I suppose not, agreed Tanjin. I'm glad I have understanding friends like you and your sister. What was seeming so different to others? Our pleasure, and thanks for calling me buddy, he remarked. You like that term, she asked. Mm-hmm, it's lovable. I suppose it is. Unsurprisingly, you're the only friend I have. Because of your personality type? No, well, yes, but also due to another reason. Because I'm good. Good, asked Luki, his eyebrow read, expression confusion. Yes, Tanji continued. The more good an individual, the more difficult it is for them to find friends. There's a saying which states, only to good perish young. This saying is not literal, of course, but it symbolizes the hardship a good person faces. The more good they are, the more often they will hear what they would prefer not to hear. And I'm a goody chew tree. Well, a goody no shoes, I suppose. But that's okay, I'm where I'm supposed to be, regardless of what others think, how much I accomplish, or how much time I have. What do you mean, asked Luki wordly. We all have a story, a story written help for us. We don't know what it is, but we work to put our story into play. 
how long our story is is not determined by us, but by those writing our stories, and the one who is writing their stories, the writer of all writers. Octopus don't have a long lifespan, but then again, I'm an anthropomorphic being, so perhaps that rule doesn't apply to me. I have no idea. But whatever the case, do not worry, my friends. It's all going according to plan. I feel I'll be here for at least a little while. A little while relative to my Freya's high at Reese. Plan. What plan? Your plan. Tenji, you're going to have to explain what you're saying later. I'm only seven. Okay, Tenji? Tenji. Hearing no reply, Loopy turned to see that his friend was now laying on the grass fast asleep. Oh. Turning to stare in silence at the large bright full moon, he whispered to himself, Sleep tight, buddy. I'm not worried either. Because you're probably right. Whatever it is you're saying. But no matter what, and I'll always have you with me, my good loving friend. In my heart. With that, he proceeded to rub his tired eye before falling suit on the movement grass. And...